So the fourth halving has come and gone. Mining rewards have been cut in half yet again. What next? What's going to happen to Bitcoin? Well, in this video, I can give you an answer based on what happened after past halvings. If the past is any guide to go by, in the year following past halvings, Bitcoin has gone up quite significantly. If we take a look at the gains in the year following the past halvings, gain being the percentage increase in the price. So after the first halving, that was 93. So this is actually not 93%. This is a gain of 93, so 9,300%. After the second halving, it was 28, so 2,800%. And after the third halving, 7, 700%. So we clearly saw a large gain following past halvings, although that gain has been progressively smaller. So what's going to happen this time after the fourth halving? Well, in my last video, I modeled the gain as a function of halving events, and I argued that it should follow an exponential decay. Here we have the gain on the vertical axis, and on the horizontal axis, we have halving events. So first halving, second halving, third halving, and what we want to know is what's it going to be at the fourth halving. And in that video, we found that we expected the gain to be 2. If you'd like to know my justification for an exponential decay and how I got this gain of 2, you can check out that video. And it explains everything. It's a fairly simple model. Pretty much anyone should be able to follow it. And while you're there, be sure to like and subscribe. And actually, why not just do that for this video as well? It would definitely help me out. So our expected gain for the fourth halving is 2. That video was made before the fourth halving, so we didn't know what the price on the day of the halving would be, because the gain here is the gain relative to the price on the day of the halving. At the time, Bitcoin was sitting at $70,000, so I made an estimate based on that, but the actual price, the actual high on the day of the fourth halving was $64,000. So based on this model, we expect that the high, the year following the halving, so the 2025 high, will be the price at the halving times one plus the gain. 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 times 64 is 192. So we expect the 2025 high to be $192,000. In that video, I also made an estimate of the error, or the standard deviation, which turns out to be $5,000. And loosely speaking, with 95% certainty, we expect to be within two error bars, or two standard deviations of our expected value, so within $10,000, meaning we expect the 2025 high to be $182,000 to $202,000 with an expected value of $192,000. Now this model is made assuming that the price in the year following the halving is dominated by the effects of the halving. I think earlier on we can certainly say that's the case, but that effect is diminishing exponentially, so at some point that's not going to be true. Is that going to be this year or the next halving or the one after that? Only time will tell. One big unknown this year is that we had the introduction of the Bitcoin ETFs. They haven't been around that long, so no one can say for sure what their effect will be. But I don't think I'm being unreasonable if I assume that if anything, that will only boost the price. So we'll check back at the end of 2025 to see how my prediction went. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so we can find out together.